In this video, we will learn how we can export the data on MySQL Workbench. So this is our database and the following is our sample table. To export, go to Server and click on Export. Now let's see what it is. I'll go for the entire AmiDB, let's say. Okay. And export to dump project folder. I'll, I'll just change the folder. So let's say I'll go to desktop and here in I'll create a new folder. This is a new folder. I'll right click and rename Amit DB backup. Let's say, okay. Now you can check the path Amit DB backup. Let's minimize and here it is Amit DB backup. It will be empty because we have still not exported. Go here. Okay, so here it is. Export to dump project folder, which is fine. So it will export the entire Amit DB with, with the table. That's it. Here the export progress will be visible. On clicking the database, our table is visible. If you want every table to be exported to a separate file, you can select this. But I'll just click here. Now guys, go to export progress and click start export. Let's see what will happen. Folder already exists. Now you can see. Export is finished. Now I'll go minimize. Here you can see our, our export is visible in SQL format. You can open it with Notepad++ or Notepad also. Okay, open it in any editor. Here it is. And here you can see uh, the code, all the entire table dump is visible. We were only having a single table. So here is the actual command you can verify. So guys, in this way, you can easily export data in Workbench. Thank you for watching the video.